Back to the channel, fishing freaks. Me and LFD out in the boat. I thought we were gonna do uh, catfishing with the jug lines. What I was thinking is we could do some drifting because you got all these fancy rod holders on this boat. It's yeah. set up. We need some bait to start off, I guess. So where you, on this lake? You haven't you haven't been on this lake and you, you this is where years. Oh, I see busters. Oh yeah, they're busting. Oh yeah, they were. Prepare the cast net. Yes, sir. Give her a dangle. All right, let it sink all the way down there. It's 11 foot. Nothing. Negative, okay. Fish on. Bait, baby. All right, guys, I'm trying out my hopper dropper rig for Colorado. This is pretty cool because it's got a, uh, a grasshopper on the front. And on the back, I've got a little light nymph. Got him. There we go. I brought my own cutting board, Dad. Look at this. We got a bait net in here to get our our fish. All right, nothing like a fresh gill. Get this party started. And we are going to drift some line. I've never done this in my life. Not sure what I'm doing, but I think it might work. Lots of squigglies. A lot of squigglies on the electronics. Oh yeah, 32 foot, that's perfect. So, we're gonna rig up a dropper rig here. Put a piece of fresh cut bait on. Drop it like it's hot. Got a three quarter ounce weight on here. I might do a heavier one on the next rod. Send it down to the bottom, reel it up a couple cranks and let it drift. Stick that in the rod holder. I'm gonna rig you up a fresh one. Already got blood in the boat, first blood spilled. Right. And our hope is that we're gonna run into a big old blue catfish that is out here. So I'm doing a dropper loop. This is a lot like, you remember snapper fishing when we used to go on the chargers? Yeah. This is the rig. And you can do them double or you can do them single. I'm doing these single right now. Stick one of these two ounce weights on the bottom. It's probably where we need to be. Grab a circle hook. We're gonna palomar it. Full barrel swivel. The clinch knot. All right. So. Drop her down. It's a circle hook, so oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's getting hit. Let him, let him eat, let him eat. Got our first strike. We're in the zone, boys. Yeah, that one's on. Oh no, it was on the bottom. We slowed down for a second. I think we got a fish on here, Dad. Get him. Oh, it came off. Definitely had a fish on. Oh man, my bait was uh, cattywampus on the hook. Golly, that thing got thumped.
got one of them. Wait, no. One thing I forgot to take this. Got one. Blue cat. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice oh, he twisted me up, too. Little guy, but great eater. All right. Hey, Dad. Hey. First catfish. First catfish in the new boat. Oh, this one's on, too. Oh, it came off. Getting in them. This one's got one. This one's got a fish. Hooked up. This is the one with uh, no guide. Oh, really? Leanne, we need a net. <laughs> Here, we hit a waypoint. Little guy, we can we can handle him. Enter twice. We got him. We got him. Giant. <sighs> Two catfish have been captured, y'all, and this is my first time ever drifting lines for cats. We saw a guy catch a monster a minute ago, and I mean, he's a hundred yards from us. So we're out here on a on a pretty deep spot in the lake. We're fishing about 40 feet of water. We're drifting these lines. And this is kind of off of a big main lake point. There were white bass schooling up here. Uh, and I think that a lot of these blue catfish, they like to kind of hang around the, uh, the white bass and eat those, those dying or injured shad. And so they're more active. So we've got our lines up probably five to 10 feet off the bottom. And we're just drifting. It's like a five to 10 mile an hour wind. And we're kind of going along this topo line that's out here where it drops from like 30 to 40 feet. So could be something big that latches on, but hey, two in the box right now, first time doing it. Bluegill for a cut bait, not bad. What do you think about this experience? Have you ever done anything like this before? You know, when I was a kid, I used to sit on the bank of a pond and we would fish for catfish with corn or chicken livers. No, I've never done anything like this. This is more like red snapper fishing. Yeah, right? and your boat is just set up for it. So I really like these uh, rod holders that dad has. I think they're called Be Ready. And uh, they're just really nice for grabbing and, and getting out really quickly. So for crappie fishing, I, I would see these being a huge advantage. But you can also just put multiple rods in them and do Cat, the meat. Do the meat haul. Do the meat haul. Catfish, crappies, brim, redfish. You ought to be having gumbo every week, man. That's right. He's a oh, oh my God. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> God, yeah, you know, we better invest in a net because you got no net in here. If we keep catching monsters like that, what are we going to do? I know. What are wow. we going to do? I don't even think he's hooked. I think he just wrapped himself. I think we'll throw him back. So came up here a little shallower. Tons of shad still left on the big point. But that's Sorry. a little blue cat. All blue cats, though, by the way. That's... That's good. Blue cats are fantastic eaters. You know, we're due for a big one. Yeah. We are due. Here. That one's got something? Yeah. Get it, Dad. Get it. It's, it's big. Get him. <laughs> Watch out. I'm trying to get that other rod for you. Oh, oh, it's big. You got something on? We got something big. Are you sure? You sure it's not the bottom? It may be the bottom. I think it's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because it was dropping off. That one must have been dragging. 
Thought we had Sally. How about fell in? Going dangling with LFD. Let's go to the dam. All right, Dad is picking out the dam as, as a spot. So I do not disagree with that. I think the dam holds fish year round, but deep summer, summertime fish, and cold, deep wintertime fish, they, they do love dams. Give her a rip there, boss. Let's go to the dam. Thirty-nine foot of water, some contour. I see some fish. Let's go. All right, boys, fresh bait going on. Dropping her down. So, do you remember when? Uh met Kevin Van Dam. I do. He caught a 13 pound bass the day before on this dam. I remember. And slow rolling a spinnerbait is what he said. No. No? It was a green finesse worm. A green finesse worm? Yeah, he had a green pumpkin finesse worm. He called me, remember? Oh, that's right, he called you. Uh, I carried him to get some ice. That's right. Edwin Evers. Dad gum. That was no that was no Tinkerbell right there. That rod just boom got smoked. Oh, it's getting hit again. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. It's happening. I think he's on there. He's on there. Nope, he's not. We get tapped down there. Oh yeah, he's hitting it. Oh yeah, it might, we might be on now. I just don't feel anything though. Well, you're just making it up. No, I'm not, Dad. This thing is gyrating like Cardi B out here. You know who Cardi B is? I uh, do not. Good, good for you. All right, I'm checking this pole, see if we got anything on here. There's a fish on here. There's been a fish on here. <laughs> yeah. Little buddy has been just dangling on there. You can't feel him because he's so small. That other one might have, a, have one on there too. Little blue cats down in the deeps. Unhook that bad boy. Thank you, sir. T's too little. You successfully navigated. That's right. To I a spot with fish. Contour. You did. Foot of water. You read it. Yeah. I didn't do anything. You could be a guide. You could be a catfish guide. <laughs> Maybe so. Speaking of Cardi B, here comes the wakeboarders coming out of Lake Louisville at one o'clock. Saturday. Hey, just there. Just there. Huh? Getting hit? Yeah. Sorry, I was mesmerized by uh, whatever that is over there. Yeah. Drift back. Oh, that was oh, oh. bit. He get bit. He get bit over there. Oh, there you go now. Hey now. Oh. Yeah. Hey, we got him now. We got him now, man. Woo, baby. Roy Rackett. Roy Rackett, the catfish turd is coming. <laughs> coming yes. in. Woo. He's neater. Yeah. Come on, buddy. There you go. Hey, Roy. I'm going to give you a good tip for that one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give you a good tip. I need a good tip. I'll go. get you a couple of extra cold pops. All Got right. him. You're gonna have to clean these for me, aren't you? Yes, sir. Ain't you gonna clean these for me? For a good tip. Sure. I got something. Are you? What it is. Are you hooked up? Yes. Oh my gosh! This one got. Oh. 
Holy crap. Hang on. He done, he done took it out of the rod. Oh my gosh, this is a good one, Dad. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, he's got the he's got the bad rod too. Is that good? You got a little one on? Yeah. All right. Oh, this one come off. No. I didn't want to put much pressure on him. Guys, the guide is is uh, is missing. Oh god, that was a good one. The last guide is unfortunately missing from LFT's kayak adventures. I didn't want to hammer him too hard. He he done. He hammered it. It felt heavy. That's what we after, boys. We'll lock that sucker down. Biggest bite of the day. I missed him. I, I'm scared with the equipment. I'm, I'm taking off the tip for that. Look at them big marks down there. Oh, we got another one on, Dad. We got another one. All right. LFD charters. We on, baby. Trying to get that other one rigged. This one. This one loaded up. Oh, he's a he's a little guy. He ain't he ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna make the cut today. He was nice enough to give us a gyration though. And not take our bait. Yep, you're getting bit. You're getting bit over there. Hot action. Alright. How the hell did you do this? Um, you, just, you took a rigged rod ready to go and you backlashed it without casting it. I know. That's amazing. It's talent. I mean, you that have, is you, talent. You got to be talented to do that. You, you should be recruited to Guggen with that kind of talent. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the kind of stuff only a Guggen can do. You're a senior Guggen? Is that senior what you're saying? Guggen, yeah. The we'll call them the gray bush googans there you go that's a whole deal that's a whole set the gray bush googans lfd's the captain all right i got it out come on big boy we got three lines in the water right now and we got a we got a muscle on here googan muscle this one's my my fate i want i hope the big one hits this one because i've got like 20 pound line on there 20 pound I'll pop it. I'll pop it pretty good. But you know he's not going to do that. He's going to hit. Actually, that one's good too. I like the chances there. 30 pound braid. Just going down to the bottom. Two cranks up. Snapper fishing. We're, we're basically snapper fishing with dropper lines out here. Two and a half ounce weights. Probably don't need to go that heavy right now because we're not drifting. But when we're drifting, just to kind of keep that line down there is really nice. I would say somewhere between two and three on a, you know, two mile an hour drift never done this before learning we got bamboozled well we only got enough for two two baits here you should probably check the bait every once in a while huh cleaned it wasn't in the spot me and dad were chit chatting for probably 10 minutes and we were like man we haven't got a bite and we just realized we reeled in all three lines none of them had bait so check your bait early and often wash your poles we're back in we're at the oh we're getting bit we're getting bit now look at that's how it happens man you put fresh bait you're gonna get bit there's a lot of small blue cats down here but we're on the last of our bluegill right now so this is probably it come on big sally oh oh get, get. you got him yeah just got hammered I mean, fresh bait within seconds. You go. got him. There we Here go. we go, Dad. Yeah. yeah, buddy. It's amazing if you put bait on the hooks. I he's a little know, better. He's a little better. He might. He might. He's a borderliner. He's a little better. You know, we got so many. I know. Let's right just... now, we, we'll probably toss him back. I'm just wanting Sally. He ate the head. That's what he wanted. He sure did. <sighs> Healthy, beautiful fish. Yeah. Beautiful blue cat. We got a pretty healthy population of small blue cats in here. All right, Dad, you're from South Georgia. Right. You know, there's a little different way of life down there, a little different terminology on things. Give me some of the names for catfish growing up. What did you know catfish as? <laughs> well, we had what we called speckled cats. They were... Um, 
they were dark gray on top. They had like gray freckles all of them. We call them speckled cats. And then we had uh, we had what we called butter cats. <laughs> they were they were a creamy color with a with a kind of a round head. Uh, and then we had channel cats. Uh, Flatheads. Butter cat. A butter cat. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like a candy bar. Well, you, if you saw it, you, it, you'd understand it's kind of a creamy honey color. You know? Wow, it sounds delicious. And they're friendly. They are? <laughs> they're friendly, yeah. They're, they're, they don't have as sharp of uh, spines on them, so. Not as aggressive. Yeah. They don't stick you as much. It's just like a juicy buttercup. They call them butter cats. I don't know, guys. The things you learn from your dads, you know? Not on there? Don't feel it. Come on, Captain. That's, that's disappointing. Come on, Captain. That's, yeah. dis that's disappointing. You're getting a bit right now. That's a bite. Is it not? Yeah. It's just a tiny. It's just a small one. It's a tiny. Oh my gosh. He's not terribly Come on, tiny. Captain. Put us on the bigs. Not a single channel cat. I think we're fishing too deep to get channels today. Back into the deep. Let's drift back a second. His grandpa's got to be around here somewhere. We're on, boys. We're on. <sighs> Big hit. Big hit. Oh, he oh he ate the fish bite. He ate the fish bite. Bring him over here, sir. Oh, you're getting one too. Here, I'll take that one. Just watch that one. This one is not very big. Probably a good eater, but I like my blue cats a little juicier than that. This is this is what's really nice about your boat is. It's set on a on a course right now. We're trolling like into the wind. So right. you don't need to just drift. You can set a control drift yourself. And you're not you don't have your foot on the trolling motor pedal. Oh, oh. Got bit on the fish bite. I think this is a better one. You must be hung up with Yep. Uh, oh, wait a second. Did he eat both of them? No, I think I think he went after mine. Yeah. That's a keeper though. Uh, we'll land him like a bass. He's lassoed. Me and dad dual caught him. He's out, we just got a tangle. Yes, sir. Alrighty, folks, we have got ourselves not a live well full, but a good, a good bounty for the day. Blue cats in the well, great success. And this is something I've never done before. I wanted to come try it, and guess what? We were successful. So, and I think we gave Dad a little confidence too to come out here, get a little kitty run. You got yourself a little kitty run set up. We're gonna have to get some bigger poles kind of re-rig for some some bigger fish but this is a good trial run dad's boat is set up for it so it, i think anyone can do this no matter what kind of boat you have you know i want to come try this in the crispy collector sometime too i just need to get a graph so i can kind of see what's going on but hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video don't forget to subscribe for more outdoor action right here smash that like button and i'll see you on the next adventure